Now, we are in topic 1, sexual, and asexual reproduction. Reproduction is the process to produce new organisms, or offspring from existing individual, or parent to ensure their species does not extinct. Reproduction is necessary for the propagation of life on Earth. And all the living thing is owning the ability to reproduce. There are two types of reproduction. The first type is, sexual reproduction. The second type is, asexual reproduction. We will discuss this two reproduction type in the following part of the video. Now, we discuss the first type of reproduction, sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the reproduction of offspring. Through the fusion of a male gamete sperm, and a female gamete ovum, to form a zygote. Sexual reproduction involves two parents of different sexes, a male, and a female. The reproductive cells from the male are called sperm, and reproductive cells from female are called ova, or eggs. Fertilization is the fusion of gametes to initiate the development of a new individual organism. During fertilization, the nuclei of sperm and egg fuse to form a zygote. The zygote will develop to be a new individual with different characteristics from its parents. Human, vertebrates, insects, and flowering plants are the living organisms that carry out the sexual reproduction to produce their offspring. Fertilization can occur inside or outside the body of the female. There are two types of fertilization. The first is internal fertilization. The second is external fertilization. The follows are the details of the internal fertilization. Internal fertilization occurs inside the body of the female. During the mating, the male deposits his sperms into the body of the female. Fertilization occurs when the nuclei of sperm and egg fuse to form the zygote. Internal fertilization occurs in mammals, reptiles, birds, and insects. The follows are the detail about the external fertilization. External fertilization occurs outside the body of the female. The sperms and the eggs released into water simultaneously by male and female. The fertilization takes place when the sperms and eggs fuse to form zygote in the water. External fertilization occurs in aquatic animals like fish and amphibian. This is the content of sexual reproduction. Now, we discuss the second type of reproduction, asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a reproduction of offspring by a single organism without involving the reproductive cells. In asexual reproduction, large numbers of offspring can be produced quickly. The offspring produced have the same characteristics as their parent. The offspring is genetically identical to each other and to their parent. Variation does not occur among the offspring. Asexual reproduction is usually carried out by lower level animals and plants. There are five methods of asexual reproduction to be discussed. The first is binary fission, the second is budding, the third is regeneration, the fourth is spore formation, the fifth is vegetative reproduction. These five methods of asexual reproduction will be detailed in the coming section of the video. The first is binary fission. Binary fission is the division of a mature parent cell into two identical cells. Examples of the organism that implement binary fission are amoeba, paramecium, bacteria. The second method of asexual reproduction is budding. In budding reproduction, the parent organism grows a bud. The bud eventually split from the parent as a new individual. Examples of the organism that reproduce using budding are hydra and yeast. The third methods of asexual reproduction is regeneration. Regeneration is regrowth of a damaged or missing body part. At regeneration asexual reproduction, a new individual will develop and grow from the part that has been detached from the parent. The examples of the organism that use regeneration method for their reproduction are starfish, planaria, spirogyra. The fourth method of asexual reproduction is spores formation. During the reproduction, spores are formed in sporangia. Sporangia are covered by a hard protective layer. The mature sporangium bursts open to release mature spores. 
and the mature spores germinate to be new individuals. The examples of the organism that using spores formation as their reproduction method as fungi, mushrooms, mosses, and ferns. The fifth method is vegetative reproduction. New plants grow from the vegetative parts of the parent, such as from the leaves of the parent. Bryophyllum, begonia are the examples of the plants that using its leaves for its reproduction. Some plants can use its stems for their reproduction. There are four types of stem. The first type of stem is bulbs, the short underground stems. Onions, and lilies are the examples of plants that reproduce using their bulbs. Rhizomes, the horizontal underground stems. Examples of plants that reproduce using rhizomes are gingers, lotus, ferns, runners, the above ground stems. Grasses, and strawberries are the plants that can reproduce their offspring via runners. Tubers, the thick underground stems. Potatoes are the example of plants that can reproduce using its tubers. Some plants use their roots for reproduction via the vegetative reproduction method. Carrot, and sweet potato are the example of plants that can reproduce using its roots. In vegetative reproduction, the buds grow out from the parent vegetative part and eventually split, and grow into a new plant. Now, let's talk a bit about the tissue culture. Tissue culture is the technique that cultures small pieces of plant tissue in a nutrient medium under a sterile condition in laboratories to produce a better quality crop. Vegetative propagation is widely used in agricultural research to improve the quality and quantity of the crop through tissue culture technique. Now we review the comparison between sexual and asexual reproduction. About the purpose, both the sexual and asexual reproduction is to produce new individual to ensure the survival of species. About the reproduction manner, sexual reproduction involves reproductive cells and fertilization. Whereas, asexual reproduction does not involve reproductive cells and fertilization. About the parent of the offsprings, sexual reproduction involves male and female parents, and asexual reproduction only involves a single parent. About the quantity of offspring, sexual reproduction produces less number of offspring. Whereas, asexual reproduction produces a large number of offspring. About the speed of reproduction, sexual reproduction is less rapid. Asexual reproduction is rapid. About the gene of the offspring. The offspring produced from sexual reproduction is genetically different from parents. The offspring produced from asexual reproduction is genetically identical from parents. This is the comparison between sexual and asexual reproduction. Now, we discuss the importance of reproduction in this section. Each organism will experience the deterioration of the body's tissue and organ and will die with age. A species will continue to exist in the world as long as its member are able to reproduce. The failure of the reproduction will lead to the extinction of the species. Reproduction is an important characteristic of a living organism to ensure its survival and continuity in the world. It helps to maintain a balanced ecosystem. We have just done the topic 1, sexual and asexual reproduction. 